Happy Tuesday night, everybody. We've got another episode of Spotlight On coming up. And today's show is fantastic. We've got actor, writer, and coach David Macklin. And then we have the actor and co-founder from the Mother Road Theater Company, Vic Browder. So hang out with us, because it's going to be awesome. <laughs> watching Spotlight On. Uh, my name is Sarah Kennedy. I'm one of the hosts of this show. The other host of this show is out on an adventure and he refuses to write back to my texts. So, <laughs> James, if you're watching this, please. Please, man, I miss you. Please. Anyway, you guys, we're here with today's first guest. Please welcome actor, writer, coach, David Macklin. David, Mac thank you. I'm so glad that, I'm so glad to have you here. Well, it's very nice to be had. Oh, good. <laughs> That's awesome. So um, you are an actor, a writer, a coach, the whole, the whole shebang. Yeah, I uh, coached for about 15 years with my own class on camera. The only one in town that did real scenes, and we got to get some things that the kids could show to uh, agents and get jobs. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So um, acting-wise, how did you get started? Well, I was 11 years old, and I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't good at sports. Uh, I really couldn't find myself, and I was offered a part in a, a school play. Never had thought of acting before, but I played an old uh, teacher, all made up, grisly. Uh, wonderful part, got into it. People loved it. First time I'd ever been really raved about for anything. So, I, actually I wore the makeup and the costume home and it took till the next day my parents to get it off of me. And then I wanted to go to acting school, so I did for, at the Walter Iyer Theater School in Cincinnati. And I played a, a lot of wonderful parts there. Never got a bit of on-camera training. So when I came to Hollywood, I should have had this book uh, that we have here, like Clint Eastwood uh, gave a review, said, uh, I wish I had this book when I was starting because I didn't know anything. The first show, uh, I did a commercial that got me into, um, into SAG. Uh, of course, there's a, kind of a long story about how I got an agent and how I went uh, to classes with Helena Sorrell who was uh, the final coach of uh, contract players at 20th. But she didn't teach me any uh, on camera either. But she got me my agent, Gene Halliburton. And the first major role I went out on, The Real McCoys, I got it. And uh, I didn't know a thing about uh, camera technique. So when he said to me, now you play lines off, I said, well, you mean the other ones weren't good? <laughs> and he said, wait, somebody told me you were in the movies. Well, I had done uh, a movie in Cincinnati which won an award. It's called Escape for the Cage, from the Cage. It was for PBS. And uh, it, it was uh, done twice, actually. Uh, but it was silent. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know, you know, lines off and that stuff. And then the next one I went on was for Bonanza, and I met with the great and mysterious David Dortort. Uh, I read a few lines, and he says, that's it, you got the job. And uh, I walked out in the lobby, and there were 20 other actors still waiting to go on. It was the first time that ever happened, uh, and never did again. Mm -hmm. And the actors uh, that were there, that are still around, never, never forgot it either. Tom Lowell was one of them. I met him at a uh, Twilight Zone festival where I was appearing. And uh, he said, uh, every time you were in an office on an interview, I knew I wasn't going to get the part. <laughs> <laughs> but he got a lot of parts that I didn't get, like on combat and things. So that's what uh, started it rolling. First color show I did, well, actually, it was the first color show on. And I was on every set in the, in the show. Uh, the only person, that, the actor that ever did that. 
and it was a hell of a role. And a lot of it I liked and a lot of it I didn't. First time really seeing dramatic uh, performance and how it can be too big and too small and how you get no help from the director. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. if you act, uh, ask the director, uh, was that good, how was it? If it wasn't good, I wouldn't have hired you, <laughs> you know. Or if it wasn't good, I would shoot it over. Never any advice, you know, should I do less? Should I do this? Should I do that? So there, are, there were a few exceptions. Uh, uh, Ida Lupino was one, and Dick Donner, who did the Superman, first Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, they were actors, Don Medford. And actors, I believe, as I say in my book, uh, really are the ones that should be teaching actors. They know what actors go through. They know how actors should, they know all the tricks of, uh, and, and the methods, all the methods, not just one method. Uh, and there are many, you know. So as an actor, uh, I felt, you know, that it went into being, you know, a coach. And I did that for a while until I got tired of uh, holding the camera. And my <laughs> neck, really, my neck started going out, you know. I did handheld, a lot of handheld. <clears throat> and eventually the, the neck just couldn't handle it anymore. So mm -hmm. I wrapped that up. Yeah. That's awesome. So um, we're going to get a chance to have a second segment with you, which is awesome. Okay. Um, and we're going to get a chance to see some clips from work that you've done, too. So okay. hang out with us. And you guys hang out with us, too. Uh, we'll be right back with more David Macklin and more Spotlight on. 